your model? It's a 2018. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm just about to head out. Going back to the house. It is going to be a hot one today. We have uh, been very lucky this year with weather. And I'll give you my weather update here in a second. But before I do, I just want to remind you once again. I better take the brake off. That if you've got a passion for motorcycles, you're in the right place. Click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And uh, you join this community of motorcycle enthusiasts. So today it is, at least right now, about, I'd say about 85 degrees. It's really not bad. Pretty pleasant, very sunny, clear skies, no wind. It's just a perfect morning for a ride. And like I said uh, in the opening, we have been very lucky this year. We have not hit triple digits here in Texas or in Dallas, Texas, <clears throat> which is very unusual because I can remember just not too long ago about June, July, we had like 30 some days straight over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now some of you have, have mentioned that you'll notice on the screen when I put the weather conditions, I put it in centigrade or Celsius, I should say, and Fahrenheit. And that's because a lot of our viewers are in Europe or in Canada where uh, they don't use Fahrenheit, so I always put in both uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. And so it's going to get hot today. I think we might hit 100 today for the first time this year. And they say that all next week we're going to be um, over 100 degrees every day. So we're going to start getting it pretty soon. What's it like where you live? Are you getting those 100, 110 degree days? Well, it's coming this way, apparently. Now, by the time you watch this video, uh, we will probably already be out of the country. Um, I've told you before, uh, leading up to this, that uh, we are going to be uh, doing a a cruise for our other website cruisereport.com and I'm going to try to do a little short vlog from the cruise ship if I can. I'm not sure if their Wi-Fi will allow me to upload it to YouTube but if I can get decent enough internet on the ship I may just put up a little short hey say hello to everybody from Greece. But we're going to miss out on the first few days of this 100 plus degree weather but i'll tell you what right now it is a gorgeous day and i can't help but think on a morning like today how fortunate we are to still be able to get up and ride a motorcycle and just enjoy being outside even though where we live here in the dallas fort worth area compared to some of you uh, this is a pretty ugly flat not much to see in this area it's not like you know Memphis Mike out in Tennessee where he's got these beautiful back roads with all the trees and, or some of you folks that live around the Knoxville or in North Carolina or heck anywhere practically anywhere but here we have to ride two to three hundred miles in any direction to find anything worth looking at it's just we're just in a big city you know so but even that I'd still rather uh, be on two wheels on a beautiful morning like this I'd still rather be on two wheels than be in a car 
because um, I don't know you just I don't know it just seems like you feel more alive when you're uh, out on a motorcycle you have to be more alert you have to be more in the moment uh, in a car you can kind of just I don't know zone out I guess and you don't really have sadly you don't really have to pay that much attention because you feel so protected because of the shell that's around you and now with airbags and all the other safety features it just kind of makes drivers unaware of what's going on but on a motorcycle you don't have that luxury and all this technology they're putting into cars now which they say are for safety I kind of think it has the opposite uh, in some in some cases because th they're making it easier and easier for drivers to not pay attention or to feel like they don't have to pay attention for example blind spot monitoring that's a good example they you know people don't feel like they need to worry about their blind spot because they've got some technology to take care of that for them and the problem with technology is it's not perfect I am not a fan of this notion of self-driving cars I think oh thank you I appreciate it What's your model? it's a 2018 so anyway, as I was saying, you don't have to worry about technology on that old Grand Marquis. My uh, Ricky's mother has a 2007 Grand Marquis, and it does not have all the little safety features that our 2020 Lexus has. So when you drive the Lexus, and you've got all these little warnings and buzzers and like when you're backing up it beeps if you get close to hitting something you tend to get kind of spoiled to that and you forget how to drive without it and then you climb in that big old mercury of hers and you're liable to back right into a post or a, or a door or someone else because you don't have that warning you're used to having that warning so Technology is great, but technology can also get you killed if you're not careful. And as I started to say before he uh, pulled up next to me, I'm not a big fan of the self-driving car concept because I just think it's going to get a lot of people killed. That computer system is going to have to make decisions that really only a, a human being can make effectively. And I know there's a lot of people that are big fans of it, but uh, I just consider it to be, they're going too far and it's unnecessary. There's a lot of technology they're coming out with nowadays that really is not necessary technology. And I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to say we need to make cars so that people can text while they're driving and not have to pay attention. And I just think that's a, uh, I think that's a bad philosophy from the get-go. Okay, let's see if I can't. Now, see, I'm using my turn signal to change lanes and he's, the guy behind me is basically ignoring it. And I've got a hell of a lot of turn signals. Well, he finally slowed down. But he's probably watching his phone. He's probably didn't even see my turn signals. So, you know, you just have to always be aware of what's going on when you're on a motorcycle. You don't have the luxury of not paying attention or not being in control. And that's, uh, I think that's one of the uh, stimulating things about riding a motorcycle because you feel more alive. It's almost like you're risking your life every time you climb on the bike, but it's a, in a strange, weird sort of way, it's kind of a rush, I guess. So, I don't know. You tell me if I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe I am. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, click that little like button down below the video because it does really help out this channel it uh, determines how YouTube ranks the video when they show it to people that are not subscribers the more people that like a video uh, the better so anyway Thanks for joining me today. I will see you when I get back from Greece on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.